Our story today is called The Naughty Shoes by Helen Landolf. During our story, we're going to move in different directions. So before we do that, before we use our whole body, let's just use our arms. Try stretching your arms forward. How far forward can your arms go? Hmm, good. Now try stretching your arms backwards, all the way back. Can you wiggle your fingers while they're back there? Now try stretching your arms all the way out to both sides. Good. Can you put your arms on one side? How about the other? Can you stretch your arms all the way down to your toes? Can you stretch your arms all the way up above your head? Good. Now, I'd like for you to lay down wherever you are. Lay down on the ground so that we can begin our story. While I'm telling the story, I want you to do the things that the story says. So if I say to give a big cat yawn, I want you to yawn just like I said in the story. So you have to listen closely. Here's our story. Once there was a cat. Now this was a very unusual cat because it could walk on two legs just like a person. Well, one morning, this cat was all curled up in its bed, fast asleep. The cat woke up, gave a big cat yawn, and stretched its paws in all directions. Forward, backwards, sideways, up, and down. The cat decided to go for a walk in the forest, so it jumped out of bed and started off down the road. The cat was so excited that it started to skip. Suddenly, the cat stopped. There, in the middle of the road, were the most beautiful shoes it had ever seen. They were gold with silver sparkles, purple polka dots, and green shoelaces. I think I will try them on, said the cat. So the cat put the beautiful shoes on its feet. They fit perfectly, but when the cat tried to walk, the shoes did something surprising. They walked backwards. Can you walk backwards? They started to go faster and faster until the cat fell down. You naughty shoes, said the cat. I better try again. But this time, the shoes started sliding sideways. Right, left, right, left, right, left, side to side until the cat fell down. You naughty shoes, said the cat. I better try again. But this time, the shoes pulled the cat up and down up to the sky on tiptoes, down to the ground like a crab, up to the sky on tiptoes, down to the ground, up, down, up to the sky, down to the ground, until the cat fell down. You naughty shoes, I'll give you one more chance. Can you say that with me? We're going to say one more chance. Here we go. One more more chance but this time the shoes began to spin and turn and twirl the cat around round and round and round and round until the cat fell down by now the cat was angry these shoes are just too naughty it said so the cat took the shoes off set them down in the middle of the road and the cat walked away But stop, I hear something. The cat listened, but nobody was there. So it kept on walking, walking, walking. Stop, I hear something. The cat listened, but nobody was there. So it kept walking, 
walking, walking, walking down the road. Stop. I hear something. The cat turned around quickly and saw the shoes were following it down the road. So the cat started to chase the shoes. He went forward, sideways, round and round, and finally the cat grabbed the shoes. Now I've got you, you naughty shoes. This time, walk forward. The cat put the shoes back on its feet, and sure enough, those shoes walked forward just like they were supposed to. The cat was so happy that it did a happy dance in all of the directions. Forwards, backwards, sideways, up and down, round and round. galloped all the way home in its new shoes. The cat climbed into bed and took off the shoes. It gave each shoe a little kiss, then put them under the pillow. The cat fell fast asleep. Good night, cat. Good night, shoes. The end.